Good afternoon. It's Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, as I said earlier on the uh, My Caffeinated Life Facebook page, i um, going to bring up kind of a sensitive subject here, but it was uh, spawned because of the what I saw in the view this morning. Also, if you guys watch Vlogbrothers, I'd like to shout out to say, Hank, I kind of understand with you. The city I live in only has about 150% more than the town you live in. So if I were to go to Los Angeles, I would probably have a, like, there are too many people on this road right now. So, yeah. Catch y'all here in a little bit. So anyways, about the bullying thing. This kid, Tyler, that was on The View today, he was, apparently he taped something from one of his classes at USC and he posted it online because of the anti-Republican rhetoric his teacher was spouting. Well, first of all, dude, if you're gonna post a video like that, make sure it's not edited and has jump cuts because you kind of lose credibility when, it obvious, when it's obviously edited or photoshopped or whatever. It wasn't photoshopped, but you know what I mean. It was very obvious that yeah. Anyways. Um, also, I think I've said this before. There are some Republicans in this country that are constantly victimized by everything, and I don't understand it. They're looking for any reason for the world to hate them. And it's like, really? There are probably some Democrats that do it too. But about the bullying thing, and how this ties into my bullying thoughts, the kid's a pansy. He can't handle someone vocalizing other opinions you know, without having a little conniption fit. It's like, there are a lot of kids, at least in America, that are raised without a strong backbone. They don't actually, they don't have anything about themselves. They just, they hear something that went against their values and whatnot. While there is honest to God bullying that happens in this world, you know, with stuff. There, there's a good chunk of it that's like, oh, well, he just sits there and calls me names all damn day. Cut, cut, cut. Really? I have insight into bullying. You know, my first name is Theodore. Um, when you grow up in the mid 80s, you don't need the name Theodore. Regal name to all get out. But Teddy Ruxpin was a big deal, and Alvin and the Chipmunks cartoon was a big deal. So everyone was on me, you know, why am I not fat? You know, I was pretty much the nickname Teddy and anything you can think of to make fun of it. Am I, did I ever try to commit suicide from it? No. But I mean, I had been called names, I was too skinny. When I went to my next school, uh, I didn't understand wearing normal clothing, you know, because in my whole other topic, I know bullying. And I'm here at 31, almost 32 years old, and I actually have a backbone. Someone can yell gay slurs down the street at Aaron and I. Aaron will get mad. I'll let them roll off of me because it's not that big a deal. I'm back home now. Uh... I did. Mom took me to my appointment last time I went, so I didn't really actually know where it was, so I had to go drive around and figure out where it was. Yeah, so... <sighs> Laying down to get a little bit of... Because walked a lot today. A lot. So... And then I'm going to exercise again tonight, so... That's good. At least I get to try out my new shoes. I... We have hammered out the details for the costume, the upper chest shirt part and we're gonna talk to Tommy guy Tommy's a guy I yeah just really one of the family if that makes any sense to people so that's why the handwriting is really nice but has many has like a, a bachelor's degree in costuming so it's like hmm probably going to take over the one because the one I talked about before Anna she is probably like a home dressmaker and just sort of moonlights as costume making and is yeah anyways so we're going to hammer that one out next Sunday so a week from now ish and I have to mail email not actually mail I have to go log into Star Trek and get 
some ideas from Ms. Madeline because she also kind of makes costumes, but she kind of uses sort of, it, it's really bad. She throws them together, but it's not like in a bad way. She kind of throws them together and does like the craftery, I think is what she called it. So that gets a decent amount of, so she has a good idea on how to like do stuff. And so I'm going to talk with her about the pants. And the shoes, I don't know what we're going to do about that. I think we're just going to stick it with regular shoes because if I'm going to a movie premiere or Star Trek conventions for whatnot with it, I'm not going to want to have costuming shoes because they're going to fall apart just like what happened with my Sora costume. No, no. I mean, I could probably get real shoes, but that's shoes are kind of expensive because I'm not that rich. So, yes, I will sign this off here and what not because well you're looking at me vertically <laughs> like straight down at my face <laughs> as is proof there's my pillow mm. yeah so I will chit chat with y'all's tomorrow uh, I haven't like I said I have my appointment tomorrow and that's at 1 30 so things may be upload late or whatnot all depends on what's going on so yeah I will sit up, sign this off, and you all have a good Monday.